Hello everyone. Back with an, another tutorial video for DDO. This one is on the Midwinter Festival skate. Um, you talk to Brace Bullhorns here. Make sure you have your ice skates on. If you don't have them yet, you can rent them or what I did is, is wait until the end of the ice games and they're usually on sale for really cheap. Um, of course, that means that the current ice games aren't going to be able to skate much or you're going to be collecting your tokens and skating on the last day. Either way, however you want to do it. But um, those are pretty necessary to have a good time here. Except that um, because of the way the fire and cold resist recipes drop, you really only need to get a couple of the moats to get the first of the fire or cold resist recipes. And those are going for pretty good prices on the auction house at the moment. In fact, there's no colds up right now and the fire ones are up pretty high. And the way the rewards seem to work is that if you get a lower score, you'll have a better chance at the lower level recipes. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm going to go ahead and start it. And normally you go as fast as you can, get the speed boost, get all the moats you can. But in this case, I'm just going to take, oh, see if I can just get exactly three and do that. I really want a uh, cold resist one recipe. I've got a three, a five, a seven, and a ten, but I want that uh, one so I can get the equivalent of this. So if you didn't know, those resist recipes can go on cosmetic items. So here's my Elite Spider Cult Mask for the Menacing the Dark pre-order. And you can see I have a stacking plus 10 fire resistance with no minimum level, which is really handy. And then if you do the same thing to, for example, I've got this Wilderness Medium Armor from the uh, Shadowfell bonuses. You can put uh, cold on one and fire on the other and you have those plus 10 stacking resistances. Very handy, especially if you're going to do a heroic TR. Epic reincarnations, it's arguable if it's really that necessary, but um, definitely in heroics it does help a lot at first. Those first couple of levels, uh, being able to ignore damage basically is helpful. Um, I do know that there's been talk in the forums that the glamoured items do not work with this. It's only store-bought items or items you got with pre-orders, that sort of thing. So keep that in mind when you're planning this. But it is a handy little bonus to have um, for not too much effort, I don't believe. I think the skating is fun and something different to do in-game. Um, if you're really going to get all the motes and getting a high score, you'll get more motes. Um, and then the random recipe drops. You can also put the glaciation and combustion recipes on things, but then you start worrying about minimum levels. And that's why, well, first of all, I don't really have a caster, so it doesn't matter much. And secondly, I like have, I don't have very many cosmetics, so I like having something that's useful more of the time, especially on my melee, which is my main. So that's why I didn't do that. But keep in mind, you can do the glaciation and combustion stuff as well. All I'm doing here is waiting for this Midwinter Festival Spirit timer to run out, and then I'll get my reward. You can hear, I think, the clock starting. I think that's audible. Let's turn that up just to make sure you can hear that. So we've got eight seconds left now. Normally you'd be trying to cross the goal line before that timer expired. But in this case, uh, Glaciation 78. Not a great pull. So let's go ahead and do it again. Wasting all those speed boosts. Getting my three and coming back. And again, there's almost three minutes left, so I'm not going to bore you with uh, 
doing that again, but you see the basic premise is I want a low level recipe, so I am getting a low score and trying to get that low level recipe. Technically anything below 100 should work, so I could go get more, but um, I also saw reports of people who had exactly three getting them dropped, so it's random. Uh, you got to do what makes sense to you to try to get what you want. Um, I have plenty of moats stored up. I've got over 10,000, so I'm not worried about moats themselves. And as I said, I'm not really worried about the glaciation or the combustion or any of the higher level recipes for the resistances at the moment. I really want to get that one so I can use my 35710 and get that uh, on my character here. So again, thanks for watching. Appreciate uh, any follows, subscribes, all that fun stuff here and at Twitch. Appreciate it. Uh, see you on DDO stream in-game or some other stream soon. Thanks a lot.